You have no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True, I have no idea. Better times approach, Geralt, you shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not at all. Wonderful, I feel we shall become great friends. That remains to be seen. Shake my hand, Geralt, to mark the beginning of our friendship. Uh, don't worry, I've no poison needle up my sleeve. I believe one can learn much about a man from his handshake. Learned anything? You have the handshake of a warrior. Strong, decisive, dominating. You're the conquering type. The kind women love. I was asking about the curse. Ah, oh, of course. What would you like to know? Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears and a tail, another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Glevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. You've done your homework. Did you notice that not all the specters were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for specters? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay. Grab your sword and start reversing. I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them. Apart from which, I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight, surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. In fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Rees and Margarita Loantil, Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. Quite a tome. Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Positively. Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevisig was part of that team. Small world, and one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. A prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest. Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Glevisig wishes Henselt to wait for imminent death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. 
Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Hensel may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. If I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. You're gonna help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. I'll need a number of protective runes to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunk foil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots, they're silver vases of Nazaya. Last of all, give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing? Drinking ale and fondling the camp women? There's that, yes. Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? I don't like people poking around in my life. Learning about others is my job. I must know the secrets of all who wish to approach the king. I've no problem admitting I like the work. My past has nothing to do with Henselt. You don't know that. Do you know why I have no friends, Witcher? Because sooner or later I learn all their secrets, which is followed by interrogations, torture, executions. Just leave my past alone. Oi! What you doing here? I heard Zivik can't wait for you to get back. Plow it all. If we miss muster, he'll have us flogged. Get us out of here, will ya? You came here on your own. You can get back on your own. This place is crawling with droners. I mean, we'd have stayed in our tents on our arses if we'd known. We're safe in the circle, but three feet outside, and who knows what would happen. All right, we'll go back together, but let me look around first. Apparently it's bad luck to tread on the ashes. Strange aura. Let's take a closer look. Carved 
from a solid piece of stone, reusable you could say. Candles, amulets, coins. People make offerings here like they would at a shrine. Candles. The stench is worse than Zoltan's boots. Nothing unusual about them otherwise. Square coins adorned with a fish. I guess the plotters like to come here. Let's see. An unnatural stillness typical of intersections and places where streams of the power meet. Unnerving, but harmless. People seem to be staying away from the wheel. They're afraid. All the gifts are at a safe distance from it. Except for one person. With Kedweni Army Issue boots. Glad to know I'm not the only one to desecrate this site. Animal tracks. Dogs. Wolves. Bears, even birds. You'd think this was a feeding ground, but they all fear the circle. Except for cats. Their tracks are everywhere. One even napped on the pedestal. Triss once told me cats like to sleep on intersections. And they're the only beasts apart from dragons who can draw the power. They clearly like this place. Sabrina was nailed to this wheel. Something protected the wheel from the flames. It's hardly scorched. Hmm. Fresh holes and splinters. Someone's pulled nails from the wheel recently. I'd better take one, just in case. I need to bring the king here. I need to reenact the execution. If I can only summon Sabrina's ghost, I could force her to lift the curse. The Draugrs and the Mist will remain, but at least the king will be safe. I need to know what happened here. Witnesses of the execution, they're the key. If I can just find out how Sabrina died, I should be able to free Henselt of the curse. Two leads. Sabrina's cultists and the nail thief who's obviously immune to the aura of this place. Time to question some soldiers. You've looked and touched your fill, right? Let's get out of here. Did you light those candles? We did. What's it to you? I've seen it's not safe here. The beasts are too scared to come near the circle. Maybe, but you gotta leave the circle to return to camp. Help us get back! If you all know this area is infested with monsters, why the hell did you come here? On a kind of pilgrimage to visit the circle. Feel their eyes on you. They're watching us. We won't get out alive, superstitious idiots that we are. Don't you believe the visionary? You don't have to. But it was worth a try, right? Old idiot. It's his fault we ended up here. Who is this visionary? He's behind all this. He talks of miracles in the circle. I believe him. Know why? He lives deep in the valleys, but something protects him from all those harpies. Did you see them burn the sorceress? Three years ago. We both served under Henselt then. But only the fifth company guarded the stake. They say the king never wanted to make a spectacle. Some soldiers never come here, but others visit the circle to check the remains. You're just like them. To you, it's only a superstition to make money from. You're looking for old nails in the ashes. Like that shitbag who trades outside the inn? You're mistaking me for someone else. Really? Then give us the nails. I'm keeping it. Keeping it? Not heard what they say? Relics are like fist tech for simple folk. How did you manage to avoid the drowners on your way here? The visionary was with us. He led us through, then left. I don't like this place. Thought you'd want to stay the night here. I know at least a few places I'd rather sleep. Come on. Beats me why they've been fighting over these hellholes for generations. I get goosebumps every time I go outside the palisade. Guess Zvik was right. We should have sat up. Everything fine? Great. Great. The closest to her right hand. You fools. Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable.
I found footprints at Sabrina's execution site. Do you know anything about that? Why would I? You found them, not me. Yet your boots are black from ash. Shh. All right. What do you want to know? Do you believe in the power of your merchandise? You mean the relics? Others believe in them, that's what counts. They'll believe in anything that gives them hope. Soldiers shit their pants and throw up in fear before going into battle. If kissing a rusty nail gives them courage, then in my book, it works. Do you remember the curse that Sabrina placed on the king? When they set the stake on fire, she shouted something to the king. His face went red, but I couldn't hear very well. She probably foretold his syphilis. A gruesome death. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Sure I did. I was in the fifth company. I remember the commotion when that idiot Yahon killed her with a spear. Ah, uh, if only I had that spear now. You know Yahon? Never heard of him. Where'd you get the idea that I know him? Where's Yahon's spear now? I don't know. Besides which, it's none of your concern. I simply won't talk about that. Do you remember the sorceress Sabrina? Same as all the others. Looked like a young nympho, but an old hag inside. You want to talk about her? See that freak who burns candles? I'm interested in objects that belong to the soldiers who perished in the battle three years ago. Not any old things. They have to be magically active. I know how to check. That's not my speciality, Witcher. I deal in relics. Got anything interesting there? Ash from the stake where Sabrina burned. Nails that fastened the wheel of death. Splinters from the wheel. I've also got some metal parts and some of the martyr's garments. Whatever your heart desires. Sabrina, who died on the pyre! Help us! Thanks for your help, Witcher. We were in a tight spot there. The rot fiends are multiplying like rabbits. We were on our way to see the visionary, bearing gifts and all. But I'll be damned if I take one more step that way. Wouldn't be on your way to see him, would you? If you are, give him this coin for us. Ah, do what you will. Over here! Inside the candles! We're safe here. I awaited them. They were to come bearing gifts. I heard their cries. Guess they were attacked. If they're not here, they must be dead. No, they're alive. They didn't want to risk it anymore, went back to camp. They asked me to give you this coin, for candles. This is but half. Why I'll not do more than braid some wicks for this? What do you want from me? I'll not believe you came here by chance. Yeah, you're right. I need to learn some things, and few are willing to talk. Sabrina Glevisig's story, that's what interests me most. Listen, I'll not speak with you until I get my coin. Pure and simple. Though I do provide charitable help to the faithful, if you were to become one of them. I've heard a lot of good things about you. All right, I'll become a follower. Wonderful. Listen then, for I'll not say this twice. If your intentions are pure, you will do as I ask. 
Each convert must pass a test. You will spend the night at the old chapel near Sabrina's pupils. Where? Twin lakes I have named in our honor. Is that all? Before you kneel to meditate, you will drink the mixture I shall give you. You must then remember all that occurs. That's very important, as you'll need to recount it to me fully. All right, I'll come back once I'm done. Huh? So long. Too old for this.
Huh? What other matters? I did what you asked. Tell me what you saw. You may think I'm as mad as you are, but in my vision I walked through a forest where the trees were huge mushrooms and a giant chicken walked between them, pecking at the underbrush. You have no idea how happy I am. I've been having this vision of a giant hen among mammoth mushrooms for weeks. I thought I'd lost it, gone insane. Turns out my herbs must have gone off. I'll need to gather new ones, but that's my concern. Ask me what you will. You must know a lot about Sabrina Glevisig's death. Uh, Sabrina the Martyr left the world of the living to protect us all. Did you hear about the curse Sabrina cast on the King? Of course. A well-deserved punishment. A ghostly spell from her crimson lips. The King concocted a cruel fate for the sorceress. Humiliated her, made her suffer the flames. Bound to a wheel and placed on the stake. She suffered in a way unimaginable to ordinary humans. But when the flame reached her maiden waist, not a single cry could be heard. Only words foretelling King Hensel's imminent demise. Let a shooting star split the heavens and mark its mortal journey with a braid of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish scales, turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules, prompting a just punishment. Sabrina suffered so badly that a merciful soldier ended her torment, thrusting his spear into her aching heart. Any chance of finding that spear? It was so long ago, Witcher. But I believe the spear went to another soldier. The bugger sells relics from Our Lady by the Camp Inn. I know who you mean. Why the candles? What's the difference between Sabrina and other mages burned at the stake? Others were strong in life. Her power bloomed when death wrapped its steely arms around her. She took the soldier who ended her suffering under her kind care. He never had to fear walking alone in the dark again. Have you seen the area? It's full of beasts and monstrosities. Jahan, the merciful soldier, has walked in the blaze of our power ever since. No creature born of darkness can get close to him. Now, back to some other matters. Who are you? Our descendants will decide who we were when they see what we've left behind. Is Jahan still around? Jahan is dead. He didn't deserve to bask in the glory of the Lady. So Sabrina's mercy has limits. You don't know what you're talking about, Witcher. Who were you before? What does it matter? Let the sins of youth fade into oblivion. Look at the candlelight. Feel it, and you'll hear what it has to say to you. I can't hear a thing. Then you're not ready. But your time will come. You will then hear and understand. Trust me. The valley's been engulfed by a battle of spectres. Know anything about it? It's a place of horror. You can still hear the sound of steel and the cries of the dying. If you want to soothe their pain, you have to believe that Sabrina is watching over you benevolently. I won't achieve anything without some memory tokens. Magically active conduits left by those who fell in battle. They're supposed to symbolize faith, courage, hatred, and death. Faith? I don't know what those soldiers believed, but their faith didn't help them. They were deceived. Courage, hatred, and death? There was too much of all of them, especially death. But I remember a knight who, ignoring the danger, led a handful of soldiers against overwhelming enemy forces. Seltkirk of Gullet, Demavend's champion. When Vandergrift's cohort cut him off from the rest of the army, he attacked the visitor fearlessly. If you're looking for a symbol of courage, find Selkirk's armor. So long.
Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. I know you have the spear Yahan used to pierce Sabrina's heart. I told you about that. And I thought the old freak was trying to forget the sins of his past. You know Yahan well? He despises me now, but things used to be different. We were called up at the same time. We fought under Hensel together. But I managed somehow while he hated it. Why did they send him to that ferocious battle? He was the worst dumbass in the entire army, but he outlived the best soldiers. Covered in shit, piss, snot and tears and still he survived. He cracked when they burned Sabrina. A beautiful end to a fucking beautiful day. Then he went to the dogs. He pissed away all he had on drink. I was the fool who followed him and brought everything he pawned around the inns. That's how I got the spear. I need that spear. Tough luck, Witcher. I last saw it a few years back. What happened to it? Look how similar we are. You want knowledge, I want coin. And we both need help to get what we want. How much? What are your customary take-ins on a contract? I'll gladly accept but one half of that. Tell me about her. After all, business is going well. You see, when Yahan lost his head for Sabrina, I bought the spear from the innkeeper. The donkey's ass pawned it in the inn. He drank like a fish. By then, Yahan had already hidden in the hills where no one dares to venture. Some call him the visionary, but in my book, he's just a nutter. Beats me why the beasts don't attack him. A fisherman who supplies the canteen said that some monsters hate the smell of fish oil. Yahon makes candles out of it. What did you do with the spear? Sorry to say I lost it in a dice game. Shame, because today it'd fetch a good price. I lost the spear to a soldier who later fought the squirrels in the forests of the Pontar Valley. He told me he'd used it to kill some Scoyatel big shot. I heard the shaft cracked as if there'd been some fucking jousting tournament. The most interesting thing is, that big shot is still alive. I heard he's now with that vixen from Edern. Some frigging commander. Elves are weird creatures. Who knows, maybe he still has that spearhead. Yorvith. You know him. I'll tell you for a hundred orans. Bah! So long. I had a mate from Rivia, but they killed him. I've got to get through the mist, or I can't lift the curse. I shall supply the white flag when you set out as our emissary. The lass is reputedly honorable. She'll welcome you, invite you to a feast, and with a bit of luck you may even plow her. You're sick, Deathmold. They say she's very pretty. Peasant girls not to your liking? Not your concern. In case the elves lack an understanding of diplomatic symbolism, please also take this armor. With his majesty's blessing, I might add. A king's concern can be boundless when his life depends on that of another. I spent some time working on this recently. This little marvel will guide you through the fog and provide a measure of protection from the specters. Thanks. See you. Good to see you, you old rogue. Why the long face, Sultan? Everything's fucked. The only sight worse than a sad dwarf is the sight of a very sad dwarf. I don't suppose you have any vodka? I see things are worse than I thought. I feel like a monkey in a cage. Those pricks act as if they've never seen a dwarf before. If you need a change of climate, come with me. I'm on my way to Bergen. You say that as if you're going to the brothel round the corner. Forgetting about the specters? I may have amnesia, but I remember the curse. Well, all I get around here is non-human midget and the like. 
And I've dwarven brethren on that side. Sure as shit, I'll take Saskia over that prick Hensel too. You really willing to help me cross? Of course. You know, Geralt, I have a feeling that Vergen's where I should be. I get you. Let's go. How do you plan to get through the fog? Thought it was suicide to venture into it. Deathmold gave me a protective amulet. Throw it out! I wouldn't touch anything belonging to that dick. I had a choice. Navigate the fog with an amulet or without it. Seemed safer with. You're the expert on that magic shite, I guess? Just trust me and stay close. Oh, what the hell. Better the devil you know. I'll come with you. What do you want? Can I talk to him? You're all right. I've heard you've been helping our lads. Talk away, but be quick. If the corporal sees you, he'll have your balls. And ours. Bloody fat girl. What do you want? Information. You from Jorvis' unit? I'm proud of it. Jorvis will avenge me. Maybe. I'm responsible for you being captured. I don't understand. I warned Jorvith that the Kingslayer had betrayed him. Your leader's alive because of me. You lie! You're not one of us. Never claimed to be. I'm not interested in your fight, nor in that of the humans. I have my own goals. I'm hunting the Kingslayer and need information. Will you help me? I'd rather not reveal anything to the Dwan. Do you know Elder speech? Discernen and rendens hest, ev de sale emes ep de mevneslet. Seer here. En ted ver letho ken en stert dun ver neowert. Er te dreye ep duan, seret en ox vat gern est. Vena arthur neck wert, vise egen, erle egen. Ken hat mer, then thar emen dunv, dak mamert. The kele elethena hest kem. Niam a herth, este er verth, ep kethen ken hest. Quintes ken. Then kean velt emer dorvat gern. The kean me then etres. En hert ep kianje esme geth verf. Se este en kien e dieble ep as kied. Ken jese theth treach. Mesem treach gled. Ken thene de arme hest. Thene ne serle vede sale in esne ge ert. Vene senden ert el. Ert e arme? Ne segen ier? Elisera? Mekian behen ted feen esert. Seret nea ura jasen het. Er teb orks garthe seget enet rothen kem hest. Te ern motha diarn. Rathain? Ke diables rathain vetherel. Vesen et rothen deren henselt gerel vurte hen. Then the arm elestrea hen. Ne merce health. Vafel. Quen erl vat gern hen linge quen. Ne mesecht. Oxen and seret est elle quen. Vel merth quen blade queneth belk. Vethen emeth quen blade. Seet the step gathes and treth winnes. Vafel! It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much.
I can't wait to have some proper ale instead of that piss water to drink in the kid when he can. Thanks again, Geralt. Tough crossing ahead of the Sultan. Looking to scare me now? We're going. And that's the... Never again. Fucking fog. Look at it this way. You'll be able to brag about seeing the ghostly fog from the inside for the rest of your life. I'd rather brag about how I plowed three wenches at once in my youth. Kill him! Edon! Stop! You're making a mistake! A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. And wars are won by killing foes. Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed. But we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before he... Enough! We'll not let you inside, Vergen. But you can deliver your message to the commander of the Watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plowing typical elf. Come on, Geralt. It's Geralt of Rivia and Zoltan Chive. Pinch me, Burden, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. Maybe we ought to tickle them with an axe, just to be sure. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm afraid there's no mage out there who could conjure up the Witcher's mug, nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> Yarpin Zigrin! Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> this lad here's scaling burden. Geralt, what are you doing standing there as if you've swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate! Greetings. Triss has told me a lot about you. We Merigold? Ha! How is the lass? Let me tell you, Scalen. This here witch has the very embodiment of chivalry. All the silk cooks of the world can't hold a candle to him. And you know why? No, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. Me? A knight? I'd sooner call Zoltan a show dancer. Well then, listen everyone. At the time, we were escorting Cain army convoys through the Sherwood forests. 
Aye, aye, we served Hensel once, though all was for coin. Anyways, the Witcher was on the road as well, with Triss and Ciri, heading south. The lass, I tell you, was a demoness incarnate. Pure pepper on her feet, and healthy as a horse. But the sorceress fell ill. Some terrible pestilence held her, gave her the runs. That woman needed to go every five minutes. Never seen anything like it. And I've had my share of gut rumblings. This one time, I roasted an old ailing gerbil and... Oi! You promised us a chivalrous tale. And I'm delivering it, lad. In any case, the Witcher would carry her into the bushes time after time. He treated and cared for her, cleaned her, bathed her. Sounds normal to me. A man looking after his woman. It's too much to call it chivalrous, Yarpin. Ha! Ah, wrong. Triss weren't his woman. Not his wife, nor lover. She was sick and in need of aid. And he was on a secret mission. Might have left her in some city, might have gone off on his own, but he didn't. Know why? Because he's got a heart of gold. He truly cares. A lad like you, Scalin, don't know that being a knight's not just about thrashing around in full plate, a long sword in hand. It's not just about fighting duels and winning tournaments. Damn! <laughs> I missed hearing your bullshit, Sigrun. Hmm, I don't believe anyone else has tried to tell me that story. How is the wee Merigold, anyway? Not great. The Kingslayer kidnapped her. Oh, damn the dogs! That's downright terrible! I suppose it's no coincidence you're here. It's nice to talk to you all, but we've got things to do. Ah, that's life. Open the gate! I've got to fetch me a certain sword. Wait a minute. If by some miracle you obtain that cursed blade, I'd advise you not to parade it out the main gate past the squirrels. Got another solution? There's another passage. I'll mark it in the Witcher's map and show you myself. Sound all right to you? It does. In the meantime, I'll look around for that flag. Prime, I'd say. Off we go then! <laughs> Regards!
Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy, ensign and color bearer of the Dun Banner, the best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. Go back where you belong, corpse.
Colton you were supposed to bring the sword. I failed, Geralt. That was not the best idea, Witcher. Dwarves are poor liars in general, and that's especially true of this one. You know everything you need to know? Yes. You need the weapon to lift the curse from Henselt and free the souls of the Fallen. My lady, I know you're at war with Henselt, but the curse threatens Vergen as well. It's a field of uncontrollable magic energy. No need to exert yourself. I know this. The sword shall be yours. Just like that? Yes. I'm glad to help and thank you on behalf of the Vergenes, the souls of whose loved ones will finally be granted the peace they have so long deserved. Thank you, and good luck. See you, Zoltan, and don't get killed. Nor you, you old prick. See you again. Someday. <clears throat> Saska, I forgot one wee thing. Geralt wishes to meet with Jorveth. He's got dealings with the elf. I need the head of the spear used to finish off Sabrina as she uttered the curse. Jorvith had it when we ran into each other in Flotsam. He lost it playing dice. Scalen now has the spearhead. The young Burden is a gambler, an addict, and perhaps Vergen's top shard. You should speak to him. Jorvith put that spearhead up as a bet? When it comes to getting folk to sit down to a game of poker, Scalen can be convincing. His pack is bulging with treasures. You'd be surprised. All won at dice. I won't need convincing. We'll see how he does against me. Farewell to you both. I do indeed. I could use that spearhead. Not a chance in hell. It's my trophy. Won it off the greatest killer among elves. In certain circles, that makes me a hero. What were you playing? Dice poker. I've rolled a few dice in my time. Do I hear a challenge? Mm -hmm. I trust you'll not ask me for a handicap. Though I must warn you, I aim to be merciless. Curse or no curse. Let's begin. You play like a true sharp. Almost like a cheat, but, true to my word, the spearhead's yours. Thanks, Scalen. I heard you have a few more interesting trinkets I could win off you. I could find something. Let's see what else I can charm. Be my... Scalen, my prize. The sword of the warrior princess Xanthia. Good enough. I'd say so. It's yours. If you'd like to roll again, I'm always willing. What's my prize this time? The wool coat of a corporal of the Dunbanner. One of a kind, and truly sought after by collectors and aficionados of military mementos. Where did you get these things? I played dice and won them. Now I played and lost. But that's it. I'll play you no more. Don't get mad. I'm not! I'm just not fucking playing you no more. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the Black Dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger. Knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! We're too late! Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilfgaardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there, I promise.
King Henselt awaits you, Witcher. At last, have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic! She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution I was on that hill. I'll show you. Flat area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse, combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did, but earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, your majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, Your Majesty. Head towards the black candles, Your Majesty. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Now towards the burnt tree. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. Sire, form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire's a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as death mold puts it. Look at my boots. Stay in the circle, Your Majesty. The powder reeks of dwarf.
They're scared of ghosts, as we all are. Curses! There's hundreds of them! Calm down, Your Majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. What should I do? When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. You've broken the circle. The specters could get through. What shall we do? I'll take care of them. You finish the exorcism, Your Majesty. Curse you, Henselt! Take that. By blood and fire. Let it be so by blood and fire. Yet a sorted star. Split the heavens and walk its mortal journey with a trail of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish tails turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate a thousand year old rules. Power of fire devouring air. By the charred bones of the innocent, let the prophecy be fulfilled! In accordance with my prophecy, you cannot escape your fate! Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! Let the shooting star split! and walk its mortal journey with a trail of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish tails turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate a thousand year old rules. And power of fire devouring air by the charred bones of the innocent. Let the prophecy be fulfilled. In accordance with my prophecy, you cannot escape your fate! Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! Yet a shooting star! Split the heavens and walk its mortal journey with a trail of blood! Let fools be duped by the sight of fish tails turned by magic into square pieces of gold! Let the unicorn How many fall into there be? thousand year old rules! And power of fire devouring it by the charred bones of the innocent! Let the prophecy be fulfilled! In accordance with my prophecy, you cannot escape your fate! Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! Yet a shooting star split the heavens and walk its mortal journey with a trail of blood! Let fools be duped by the sight of fish tails turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate a thousand year old rules. And power of fire devouring air by the charred bones of the innocent. Let the prophecy be fulfilled. In accordance with my prophecy, you cannot escape your fate. Now, Your Majesty! Are you sure? All I can say for sure is that a dwarf can pass between a troll's legs, even on tiptoe. But I think it went well. Good. For me and for you. But all the worse for Edern.
You owe your freedom from the curse to Saskia's generosity. You should send a delegation to thank her, Your Majesty. I'll thank her in person once you disperse the fog of specters from the battlefield. That'll be much harder. I have faith in you and faith can move mountains. Funny you say that. I need an artifact symbolizing faith. Yes, Death Mole told me. I'll give you the medallion. First I must have a drink. Come to my tent. I'll roll out my best wine. You deserve it! The king is occupied. Return after sundown. I'm glad you're here. A messenger from Adania arrived this morning. Read. The King of Redania, Radovid V, son of Vizima and Hedvig from Malior, the heir... Get to the point. The point is, it's not true that after the death of King Foltest, Temeria will be inherited. In truth, Foltest left a lawful heir. Who is this heir? Due to the tragic death of Prince Busi, his sister Anais will inherit the Temerian crown. Witcher, you fought in the battles for the Lavalette's fortress. Tell me, how old is this princess? She's only a child, but she'll grow to take the throne. Oh. Remind me, who's her mother? <laughs> 